Hey guys, welcome to the last design team video for 2017. I can't believe the year's over already. Um, the design team members have been challenged this month to uh, color it. Uh, I want them to take that prompt and go wild and go crazy. I am going to share with you a little bit of what I have done in the past with my stamps in particular, uh, but you can do a lot of things with the stamps and stencils and even some of the digital downloads um, if you just think outside the box a little bit. You all know if you've been watching me for a while that I really love using my stamps on old book text. I have a lot of these laying around and then I use these as embellishments on our journal pages, on cards, and all kinds of things. These particular ones are stamped with rainbow ink. I've got a rainbow ink pad, I don't use it nearly enough, and it just, it's just gorgeous, it does a great job. And I love it on top of the old book text, it just gives you a unique look. I also do a lot of stamping on plain white cardstock. These are actually extras here that I have to make some of these greeting cards with or to use in my journal. So I often, when I have a scrap piece of mixed media paper, will just take out some black ink and stamp on it with some of my stamp designs. Um, I like just having them around for no particular reason. I like using them on cards. I like using them on journal pages. I sometimes on some of these were watercolor paper um, that had a little bit of color on it and so then I stamped over it and cut them out. You can also, like these, were colored in after I stamped them. And then I just have them around and like I said I use them on journal pages but I also use them along with other found papers I have and found words and I make these little just blank note cards. Um, some of you have probably gotten one of these from me in the past. I have a box of them. When I need to send a thank you note to a friend, especially a fellow artist, I generally grab one of these and throw those in there. Not always, but generally. Um, so th it's a lot of fun to have around and just make these quick and easy cards. You know, you don't have to get into the scrapbooky papers or anything. This one has scrap jelly print. This is a old... Um, yeah, that's an old game scorecard in the background that's got jelly print on it. And so is this one. It's just got scrap paint on it and some stenciling. So you don't have to, you know, have anything fancy. And the brown paper, this is just craft cardstock. <laughs> that's all it is. Um, so something simple, something easy. And these original, these were originally four by six and I just folded them in half. They're, they're not hard to do. So think about just doing something fun, quick, easy, and creative. Yeah? Go check out the design team members' videos. They have a lot of really good ideas. And I hope to see you all next year. I hope you've had a good one. I ho hope you all have a great holiday season. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.